This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F22A Raptor mod by Grinelli. We're going to look at some air-to-air -air refueling. So with us we've got Cortana and Simba. Say hello guys. Hello. It's going to be relatively simple, in theory. What we're going to do is to open our refueling port down here under fuel is air-to-air -air refueling open close open and if it's low visibility then we can turn our light on there then we're going to contact the tanker and to do that with easy communications on which i'm going to assume you have got on if you're flying an f-22 is press that button there to get the communications menu up okay guys i'm going to unpause now if you just want to hang around the tanker and i'll show giving it a shot so unpause now so i'm going to press communications menu i'm going to click on the tanker there if you've got multiple tankers, the one at the top of the list will be the one that's closest to you. Intend to refuel. Just one, one. In field. One, one. Request rejoin. That's me talking to the tanker. In field. One, one. Texaco. One, one. Proceed to pre-contact at 7,000. At 400. Right, so he's saying he's at 7,000 feet MSL and he's at uh, 400 knots. Now I'm going to move into this kind of position here, just behind him, slightly lower roughly central where I'm going to do the next communication which you can see at the top there is going to be uh, ready pre-contact ready pre-contact cleared contact okay that means we're ready to go if you said return pre-contact you'd have to get in the position uh, better and try again now cortana has been trying to tutor me through this she is infinitely better than I am and I'm going to give it my best shot if we go and look to the tanker now my port oh I haven't opened it yet but when I open it my port will be uh, directly there which is behind me if I look at the tanker I can see two strips of lights the left strips of lights you can see U and D up and down are showing my relative height to where I should be so if it's in the middle there, if the light's in the middle there, I am perfectly in position in terms of height. And this is, of course, F and D forwards and aft, and this is our longitudinal position. The idea is to have these lights, A, green, and B, both in the middle. So I'm going to open my port and give it a go. Any other tips, uh, Cortana? Uh, I found that sometimes I need to put it in uh, FCS override to give myself the fine controls that I want. But your mileage may vary. Sort of stuff out, trying to get that thing up. Right, I've got my port open. Now I'm going to do my FCS override. I'm going to do it on the left screen if I can. Uh, menu, FCS, FCS override. You can see it says in red. I've got to get him back into position now. Do you have any air brake on or are you staying uh, just slick doing this? I'm just slick. Roger. Right, guys. Is extremely mm. good, like almost mirage level, so. Right, I've got literally no excuse here. I've got a top of the range wing wing with plenty of play. It's literally just going to be me that's getting in the way of this, but let's give it a go, guys. So, don't try and look at the thing. Do the lights. I'm too far aft. I need to go forwards and I need to go up. Now, forwards. And that's pretty much in position there. He's trying. <laughs> I got it. Too far forward. Am I connected, guys? Um, it looks like you're have the boom essentially going through the aircraft. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Contact. Got it. This is so hard. I'm straining every muscle to do this. Also, I've got my top of the HUDs right in the way. It's a connected, guys. It is, yes. Yeah, baby. I don't suppose there's any way of finding out how much fuel I've taken on without looking down at my MFDs, which is there's no chance that's going to happen. Uh, you can look at your uh, that little small right one uh, if you haven't swapped around the one that has your ADI. Uh, there's an internal. Yep, twelve thousand. So you're almost full. Yay! 
my only technique obviously I'm using the lights and the lights only my only technique I've got here and my only thing really to pass on is to try and relax as much as possible and try and do the smallest movements you possibly can the reason I'm doing that is I'm trying to avoid PIO pilot induced oscillation which is a natural effect of overcompensation oh guys boy am I happy with that Cortana you go as a pro you go in there and make that look sexy I'm gonna go right. pass out Whew. done I'm back first time I'm uh, not first time but in one that's amazing that is okay Simba I'm not gonna make you do this on camera for the first time because I know you haven't had a go um, but you can get started anyway just in terms of technique um, Cortana any all I've got really to add is practice 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 obviously to make as small as uh, stick movements if you can to try and avoid PIO watch the lights don't watch the boom have you got anything else to add to that Depending on how much fuel you're taking on, you may need to find yourself uh, adding a little bit of nose up trim as you take on fuel and your aircraft increases in weight. Great, and so I, I think I had to bump up twice during the course of that tanking. Roger, good point. Great, guys. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.